The 22nd topic is on hyperbolas. It is a writing topic. So we will solve in detail how to solve these problems. Now we have this is a hyperbola. It is like it'll have two branches, like two parabolas, you know. And then these are the vertices between the two points, and these are the foci. Generally, uh, imagine they say, uh, say plan planets. Two planets are they? That would be the foci. And then, say if some some comet is moving because generally a comet would move in a hyperbolic shape. It'll come like this and go. So that would be the uh, branch of the hyperbola which the comet would generally trace the path that comet traces. Um, now we it can be in various different uh, situations as well. Now we hear this standard form is very important. That is x squared by a squared minus y squared by b squared equals 1. Now we hear in such cases the orientation is horizontal. How do you understand is the minus sign is to y and then it's like this. Whereas minus sign is to the x then it will be upwards and downwards. And uh, these are some basic things. Now length of the transverse axis. You see this total length is always 2a. And even this total length over here is 2c. And this over here, co-vertices, is 2b. So if at all they give you this length, transverse axis, say it's 100. That is 2a equals 100. So a will be 50. In the equation, we need to put a, that is 50 square, and then solve it up. Let's see a problem over here. Uh, let's do this. Example problem they are mentioned over here. Earth and Sun are 146 million kilometers apart. A comet follows a path that is one branch of a hyperbola. So now, understanding this, Earth and Sun are 146 kilometers apart. So whatever the distance they gave you is 2C, that is 146. And a comet is coming, that is one branch of the hyperbola. Suppose the comet is 30 kilometers farther from Sun than from Earth. So it is tracing something like this. And... Now, if the another branch, this distance over here is 30 million. This is about 30 they have given over here. And then what, what do we need? We need the equation of the hyperbola. So this graph is for understanding. They have given us the foci, that is Earth and the Sun. And they have told the comet is uh, one of the branch. And it has also told from the Sun, from this point, it is 30 million. Uh, millions apart farther from than from the earth so then over here this is 2a we have 2c we have 2a we can easily solve for a and c so c is equal to 70 73 and a is equal to 15 now this is the thing now you can do it in detail over here all the details are there c value is found out and a value is found out a is 15 million kilometers and c value over here is 73 that is what we just now over here from this simple diagram you can easily solve it up and then what else before i go further let me just go back over here for hyperbola since c is the biggest length c square equals a square plus b square that is the transverse axis the a over here and b is for the co-vertex a is vertex and B is co-vertex. So we can use this formula now to solve it. Now we are using the same formula. We found C was 73, A was 15, B is unknown. Just take this to the other side, subtract 73 squared minus 15 squared and you will get the answer. So this is the answer. And then what do we do? We can use the equation, the X squared divided by A squared. Now A squared formula 15 squared minus we are not doing b oh, this is not b value this is b squared value we'll just use that 5104 that is below y squared equals 1 so this is the answer so that is the equation you can do check but this is all extra if you want you can do it but otherwise that's plenty this much is more than enough that's the equation so they are told to write the equation of the uh, in terms of hyperbola now let's do some other problems see now they have asked refer to the application beginning of the lesson 
with the sun as a focus and the center is origin. Now here they have told center is origin. A certain comet's path follows a branch of hyperbola. If two coordinates of the path are over here given, what are the units that are in millions determine the equation of the path? So now over here we need to write the equation itself, but there is one thing they have given these two and the center is origin. So now the center over here is zero comma zero. And now they have told one more thing. The hyperbola over here, the hyperbola is there, right? It's uh, there are, there are, the path are, has the two coordinates. Now this is very important. See, this is the thing. The two coordinates are given. What are the coordinates? One is 10. Let me write this 10, comma 0. Why I'm writing 0? It's in this axis only. And one more point is somewhere 30 and 100. So I'll write it over here, 30. 100. This is very important, this figure. I hope this is clear. So now we know H and K is 0 and 0. Why? Because the center is 0, 0. So the equation is simple. X squared by A squared minus Y squared by B, uh, B squared equals 1. And now how do we know it's a vertical one? Sorry, it's a horizontal like this. That's because of this coordinates. We can easily understand. And then, what is A value? See, this is the hyperbola, right? They have told the path of the hyperbola as these two coordinates. It's not the foci, the path. So this value would be 10, from 0 to 10. X value is 10. So A is 10. I hope this is clear. So they have told the uh, sun is at the focus, and the center is origin, that is 0 and 0, and the comet is having a path of 10 commas uh, have it's moving in a path of a hyperbola it's a branch of hyperbola and the coordinates are these two so it's 10 comma 0 and 30 30 comma 100 so then all we need to do is simplify and solve now over here there is a problem they have not given any details of the foci the c value is not known but we have given the x and y see x and y is known so what you need to do is in order to find b square, substitute these over here. Instead of x square, put 30 square divided by 100 minus instead of y square, what do you have to do? You have to put 100 square divided by b square equals 1. Now you need to simplify and solve this. So there are many methods. Solve this, take it to the other side and then you will have minus 100 square divided by b square equals 1 minus 30 square divided by 100. Put this in calculator, you'll get a value. Take this to the other side and the value to the other side and you can take the square root and solve it up. Okay, so this over here is done. You can see the methods. See over here, this is used. So we are there. Remember when you take this over here, when you simplify this and take it to the other side, you will get the answer. Uh, you will get both negative, solve it up, and then you will get the positive over here. And the b square value is 1, 2, 5, 0. Now all you need is a square and b square. a value was 100, that's fine. a value, a value was 10, so a square will be 100. And b square we found out and write it in the equation. That is it. Very straightforward, but just understanding the problem is a bit of a thing. Now over here as well. I'll quickly solve this one. It's similar. You can, all the problems over here have the explanations in detail. So you can go through by it yourself, solve it, check the methods and the answers. Now over here they have told, this is the natural draft cooling tower, which is shaped like a hyperbola because it increases the effectiveness of the cooling of power plants. And the hyperbola in the tower at the right can be modeled by this equation. The equation of this hyperbola is given. We need to find the width of the tower at the top and the narrowest point in the middle. So now they have told to find this thing. Now over here, this would be the origin, right? This would be the center, sorry. Center. Now we have been told A square value is 16. So what is A value? It will be A, uh, sorry, 4. So A value is 4 over here. 
Now the total width they have asked, width at the narrowest point. Can you see this? Width of the tower at the top and the narrowest. A narrow means thin, small, the least, this one. So 2a would be equal to 4 into 2, that's 8. Why 2a? Because this is total. 4 plus 4, that'll be 8. So the first answer is, narrowest point is 8. Okay, so one of the answer is 8. What about the other answer? Now, we need to, we have the equation, so we need to write the equation. And now, over here, this one, what you can do is, see, this height is given. Can you tell us, can you think and tell what is this over here? Oh, I just wrote the answer, sorry. Take time and understand, this total height is 150, so half of this, because this is in the center, would be 75. So that value can be found out. Now, what is this value basically? That is the y value, isn't it? So now if I know this coordinate, I, I want to know this coordinate. I know only the y value of the coordinate. So this over here from this to this point will be 75. Y value. But x value is unknown. So I know the equation. X is unknown. But y value I can substitute as 75. So again I'll tell. From year to year, so like this, this height is 75, but I don't know this x value, this x unknown, okay, x axis. But the y axis I know, so substitute the y axis formula, a value 75 squared, and solve. And solve for x. See, you can just simplify all the methods are done, very straightforward solving, and you will get the x value over here. It is 20.4 multiplied by 2 because this is x multiplied by 2 you will get the value of the width the top width this is how we do it now over here guys this is again a simple problem we have been given x and y equals 16 and they have asked us to make a table so just make a simple table with these values you can take minus 12 minus 8 and so on with different uh, scales just put the x value. See now, if you know the x value, they have mentioned x is minus 12. y is unknown, equals 16. Take this 12 to the other side. y is 16 divided by minus 12. That is the answer. Very simple to do the table. Then graph the equation. You have the tables, so you need to graph them up. When you graph all these points, minus 12, minus 10, 8, all these points, you will get this answer. And... The asymptotes, see the asymptotes are the points where the graph will come close but will never touch. You can see this is the asymptotes are at x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. This is called a special thing because they are called rectangular parabolas. See this asymptote. They are perpendicular, isn't it? The asymptotes are perpendicular. So this property is called rectangular hyperbola. And now in case you want to find the vertices or the coordinates of the vertices, x and y is equal to how can you directly solve this now guys we are multiplying right so you need to find the uh, find the coordinates just take the square root of the value so if they have given this the coordinates would be 4 comma 4 see 16 would be at 4 comma 4 coordinate uh, that's the thing now here the coordinates would be 5 comma 5 or minus 5 comma 5 because square root is plus or minus same thing over here and that's how we can solve it. Uh, please do try the other problems. They are also very easy. It's similar like uh, what we have solved before. All the details are there. You can check the answer. The values will be given in the question. Whatever is there. And you can easily solve it up. If you have any doubts, just post the screenshot or write in the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as possible.